In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O God, by whose gift St. Elizabeth of Hungary recognized and revered Christ and the poor, grant through her intercession that we may serve with unfailing charity the needy and those afflicted through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. <clears throat> Reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, heard the Lord saying to me, to the angel of the church in Sardis, write this. The one who has the seven spirits of God and the seven stars says this, I know your works. You have the reputation of being alive, but you are dead. Be watchful and strengthen what is left, which is going to die. For I have not found your works complete in the sight of my God. Remember then how you accepted and heard. Keep it and repent. If you are not watchful, I will come like a thief, and you will, know, you will never know at what hour I will come upon you. However, you have a few people in Sardis who have not soiled their garments. They will walk with me dressed in white because they are worthy. The victor will thus be dressed in white, and I will never erase his name from the book of life but will acknowledge his name in the presence of my Father and, his, and of his angels. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. To the angel of the church in Laodicea, write this. The Amen, the faithful and true witness, the source of God's creation says this. I know your works. I know that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you were either cold or hot. So because you are lukewarm, neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. For you say, I am rich and affluent and have no need of anything. And yet do not realize that you are wretched, pitiable, poor, blind, and naked. I advise you to buy from me gold refined by fire so that you may be rich and white garments to put on, so that your shameful nakedness may not be exposed, and by ointment to smear on your eyes so that you may see. Those whom I love, I reprove and chastise. Be earnest and therefore repent. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will enter his house and dine with him and he with me. I will give the victor the right to sit with me on my throne, as I myself first won the victory and sit with my father on his throne. Whoever has ears ought to hear what the Spirit says to the churches. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to you. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. I will sit the victor beside me on my throne. He who walks blamelessly and does justice, who thinks the truth in his heart and slanders not with his tongue, I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. Who harms not his fellow man, nor takes up a reproach against his neighbor, by whom the, rep the reprobate is despised, while he honors those who fear the Lord. 
I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. Who lends not his money at ursery and accepts no bribe against the innocent? He who does these things shall never be disturbed. I will seat the victor beside me on my throne. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. God loved us and sent his Son as expiation for our sins. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. We're reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. At that time, Jesus came to Jericho and intended to pass through the town. Now a man there named Zacchaeus, who was a chief tax collector and also a wealthy man, was seeking to see who Jesus was. But he could not see him because of the crowd, for he was short in stature. So he ran ahead and climbed a sycamore tree in order to see Jesus, who was about to pass that way. When he reached the place, Jesus looked up and said, Zacchaeus, come down quickly, for today I must stay at your house. And he came down quickly and re received him with joy. When they saw this, they began to grumble, saying, He has gone to stay at the house of a sinner. But Zacchaeus stood there and said to the Lord, Behold, Half of my possessions, Lord, I shall give to the poor. And if I have extorted anything from anyone, I shall repay it four times over. And Jesus said to him, Today salvation has come to this house, because this man too is the descendant of Abraham. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. The Gospel of the Lord. <clears throat> In our Gospel today, we hear the story of Zacchaeus. Uh, and Zacchaeus was a chief tax collector, um, and so nobody liked him. He is, was dishonest as he admitted that anyone he extorted, he shall repay it four times over. He said that to Christ when he repented. So it means that he was stealing money um, using his job, uh, abusing his power. And that's how he made his wealth. That's why he was a wealthy man. And he wasn't just a tax collector. He was the chief tax collector. So the people must have disliked him even more so. But Christ, when he meets Christ, he has this conversion experience. But while all of this is going on, the people are grumbling because they don't like him. They're saying, oh, Jesus has gone to eat at this man's house, this sinner, this, this person that nobody likes. And sometimes we have to remember that Christ came to save all of us, even the people in our lives that we don't like, even the people in our lives that have hurt us greatly, even the people in our lives that we, we, we think maybe they're, they're too far gone. But the thing is, Christ came for every single one of us, especially those that are lost. The important thing is that when any of us, regardless of where we are in our lives, where we're at, meet Christ, have that conversion experience. And so even those people in our lives that we may not like or we may not assume can be saved, we are not in a position to judge them. Because when they have their experience with Christ, they can convert just like Zacchaeus did. In our first reading um, today, it was a longer reading, 
But at the end of it, it says, Saint, in the book of Revelation, it says, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, then I will enter his house and dine with him and he with me. And that's exactly what he did with Zacchaeus. And that's exactly what he will do with any of us, even those that, that are our enemies, if they have that encounter with Christ and they let him in, just like Zacchaeus did. And so that is what we reflect on today. We were reminded that even those that are our enemies, those that have hurt us, those that we may dislike, even these people in our lives, and us too included, of course, Christ has come to save us all. And so we reflect on the, that last words of today's gospel. For the Son of Man has come to seek and to save what was lost. And all of us are called to heaven and until then are lost. But Christ is here to bring us with him to heaven. Please remain seated. Um, our mass today is being offered for the special intentions, for the special intention of Leslie Tryon, and for the repose of the souls of Dang Lee and Stu Langle. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Speak on. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God. <coughs> may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. You know, so the sacrifice. <coughs> Receive, O Lord, the offerings of your people, and grant that we who celebrate your Son's work of boundless charity may, by the example of Blessed Elizabeth, be confirmed in love of you and of our neighbor through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. <clears throat> Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promised in the new world to come. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts. And they are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes to me. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. <laughs> At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as you await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy. Have 
mercy of the of God. You take away this. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, under my roof, I only say the word. My soul shall live. For those joining us through the live stream of the Mass, we will now be making an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. For those present here physically at the Mass, just a reminder that communion will be distributed at the end of Mass instead of right now at the usual communion time. Um, please be seated. Let us pray. Having fed upon the delights of the sacrament of salvation, O Lord, we humbly implore your faithful love that imitating by your grace the charity of blessed Elizabeth of Hungary, we may also be made partakers with her in glory. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Uh, one, we have one announcement. I'm um, sure most of you, if not all of you, have heard that um, unfortunately, Ventura County and most of California is back in the purple tier, um, which is the worst one. Uh, so we'll, we will be having to um, close our church, church doors again. Um, so at least for now, there will be no more um, in-person weekday mass um, until things get better. Um, there will, however, still be outdoor Sunday mass or, or weekday mass this Saturday. Sunday. Uh, for the schedule for that, please look, check on our parish website and any up any updates that may come in the future, uh, please check on our parish website or our parish Facebook. Um, these are the best ways. Um, and our bulletin is also on the website. So for information um, as, the, as it comes out, um, that will be the best way um, to do so. Thank you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks. Um, oh, but the weekday masses will still be streamed like it was before.